Hey guys and girls, Franchise Kid here. Franchise Chronicles continue with a little home cooking from Boston, Mass. That's where I'm from, and I'm up here with the family for a little post-Thanksgiving, pre-Christmas uh, vacation with the wife and kids, and staying here at my dad's place on a cool um, late fall, early winter day in Boston. Very nice outside. Uh, nice crisp air. Just put on a uh, put on a fire. That thing will start ripping in a few minutes. Nothing like being home. Nothing like being home. And when the wife takes the kids to the children's museum and no one's around, what do you do? How about a little fireside knife review? That's right. I'm competing a little bit with the contrast here. My dad just put in these kicking, kicking new seven foot slanted windows in the living room. Um, so I'm competing with a little contrast here on the granite tile um, coffee table. So let's get going. Here's a cool knife that I really like a lot. It's the NRS Pilot Knife. What a beautiful knife. And a lot of survivalists and outdoor people and viewers Check the new camera and the polished, finished reflection. And there I am. Yeah, debut with a new camera. The other one was junk. Just bought a new one, so hopefully the quality will reflect in the videos. Uh, but some of my survivalist or outdoor people uh, that come to the Chronicles and watch some of the reviews may not get a lot of value out of this review, but, but maybe you will. And bear with me on this one. For my rafting friends... Um, you are probably way ahead of me on this one. And if any of you have ever been on a rafting adventure, uh, whitewater rafting, maybe out in Colorado or up in the Northeast, and you've had a and you've done it through an outfitter uh, with a guide, you've probably noticed that on their PFD, their personal flotation device, they have river knives, and some of them are the Gerber knives. Uh, I've seen all different kinds, and I've had the blessing of of going whitewater rafting a number of times. Um, in my life so I've seen a number of those knives and as I've become more of a knife junkie which I completely admit to um, but I'm not seeking help and don't plan to the you, you sort of start to notice the different brands of knives and you ask them questions about their use and which one they like best and etc and etc and etc well after doing some research um, about a year ago this knife, the NRS Pilot Knife, came out in 2008, and as soon as I saw it, um, I knew I had to have it. And let me tell you why. Again, for the survivalists or outdoor people, this knife may not hold a ton of value for you, but let me see if I can change your mind on that. In a survival situation, this knife will have its place uh, as a very useful tool, but it's a knife that combines a lot of capacity in one knife, and I think anytime you do that, um, when you combine it on one blade surface like you're seeing here and I'll compare that to like a Swiss Army knife or a multi-tool or something like that that to me is obviously not one surface because you've got a number of different tools within one structure so to speak well this is one structure with a number of different tools or uses on it and I think anytime you do that you compromise uh, some of the knife features um, but again you gain a lot of capacity and a lot of efficiency so, in terms of an intended use of this knife, can it be used in survival situations? I say absolutely, and I'll go into the reasons why a lot of it come from the attributes that the knife has, obviously. But, you know, again, is this going to compare with something like the Gerber Tac Tool, uh, or even a multi-tool, or the Swiss Army Knives? Check that fire now. Now we're getting somewhere. Peeps. Now we're getting somewhere. Um... No, it's not going to compare with, with a tack tool or a multi-tool or something like that. But what I have found a lot of utility on this knife for um, is around the camp or uh, attached to my lash strap on my shoulder strap of my bag. And I'll give you an idea of that. And I apologize for the movement, but I just don't feel like picking this whole bag up. This is my Columbia Titanium Day Pack. And you can see a lash tab there, sorry about the contrast, and a lash tab up here. Now this one is, is uh, much more elastic. 
this one here and you can see it flexing and that's going to be for your water port or something like that or your water tube coming out of your water port you can filter it through there and it'll hold that nice and snug right there and this one's going to be uh, your nylon one so this one doesn't doesn't flex at all um, you can you can and I have gone on and hooked this onto here the the NRS pilot knife uh, or you can hook it onto here the great thing about this knife and this is why it's such a neat well, whatever I'll just let that fall why it's such a neat companion, uh, why I like it a lot, is that is the attachment. And again, I'm battling the contrast, so I apologize as I use, as I pull the knife in and out of focus. But the attachment on this, and look at the look at the release. Uh, you've got, and let me just go over some of the knife uh, attributes. It's 420 HC steel, just like you guys that have the Gerber post 2008 um, LMF2. That is a 420 HC steel. People with buck knives, that's what they use as well. And I know a lot of the strength and durability of a knife comes from its heat treatment. Um, but, you know, a lot of it comes from the steel, the type of steel that you use as well for edge retention and strength and durability, um, rust resistance, corrosion resistance, etc. This knife is going to be very corrosion resistant, which means you can expose it to the elements on the outside of your pack and you never have to worry about it. This thing is made to get sopping, soaking wet. Uh, salt water, any type of water, with no problem at all. You've got the glass filled nylon sheath, so again, you can expose that to the elements with no problem. 420 steel, you've got the uh, this is a polypropylene overmold um, over the knife, which again has awesome retention, and it's a contoured, not a contoured handle, so it fits in your hand very well, and it's just going to have excellent, excellent. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You guys already know it, so probably know it's excellent grip in wet weather. Um, or when the knife is wet. So awesome job on that. But watch it. Watch how this comes out. It pops out right into your hand. It's a spring loaded. You've got a two inch spring running between here. So that gives you two features. One, when this knife is put back in, which is very easy to do, you don't need to stare at it to put it back in. It's going to stay in there with these two snap tabs. And it's going to stay in there until you tell it to come out. So this thing and I've hiked with this before. This thing will never come out. I've never seen this knife come out. I've been on a rafting trip twice that the guide has worn this particular knife. And it's I've never seen it pop out on them. So if they trust it with what they're doing and rafting on some serious class 4, class 5 rapids, um, then I... <laughs> then, then I should certainly be able to trust it. So this will stay in there until you tell it to. But when you tell it to, it pops straight out into your hand, which is really neat. And that's a feature that I really like because if you're going to attach this to your latch strap, strap on your bag, um, then you need to pay attention to, let me put it this way, if you're going to attach this to your bag or your, you know, would you put this on molly gear or load-bearing equipment? Probably not for that utility. But if you were going to, what you need to do is pay attention to that strap and make sure that if you're putting a knife on there, as most knives deploy, they deploy straight out. And they have a connection up in here, um, the Cold Steel, S or the, the SRK, the Recon Scout, um, you know, just a number of those other knives, the Gerber LMF. Uh, the K-Bar fin blade, check my review on that one. They deploy straight out of the handle and they lock inside of that hilt area. So there's a lot of force when you're pulling down on the knife. And what that, what that may do is wear on that lash, on that, uh, the lash tab on your bag. Whereas this one pops straight out. There's no vertical force um, 